Turning now to the war in Ukraine, Russia claiming it now controls the critical southern city of Mariupol after weeks of brutal shelling. But Ukraine's President Zelensky saying while his forces there are blocked, they are still fighting. The city, once home to nearly half a million people, now lies in ruins. One official saying it has been wiped off the face of the earth. Outside Kyiv, black smoke was seen rising from a military facility. Russian forces fighting back now after the sinking of its flagship cruiser. Tonight, ABC News can confirm the latest round of American military aid is starting to arrive in Ukraine. U.S. service members seen here loading part of the continuous flow of American equipment supplies earlier this week in Delaware. And this powerful image from outside the capital, a makeshift cemetery in the suburbs. Ukraine saying 900 bodies have now been recovered. Here's ABC's Marcus Moore in Kyiv. Tonight, Russia claiming a major strategic victory in the besieged city of Mariupol. The Kremlin saying the key port city has been cleared and that the remaining group of Ukrainian fighters is surrounded. Their only chance to survive, Moscow says, is to lay down their arms and surrender. Ukraine's President Zelensky acknowledging the country's fighters there are blocked, but he says they are still fighting. He called for humanitarian corridors to be reopened to evacuate the wounded along with women and children. If Russia's claim is confirmed, it could open up a key land bridge connecting Crimea to Ukraine's eastern Donbas region, where U.S. officials say the Russians are preparing a new offensive in the coming days. Meanwhile, explosions rocking the outskirts of Kyiv, Russian missiles striking a military facility, killing at least one person. To the west in Lviv, Ukraine saying it shot down four Russian missiles as the Kremlin retaliates for that humiliating loss in the Black Sea. The Pentagon saying it believes two Ukrainian missiles did in fact destroy the Russian flagship, the Moskva, though Russia says a fire on board damaged the ship. Deadly shelling hitting Kharkiv today, killing one person and injuring at least 18 others. Alina Forsova and her young daughters caught in the explosions, describing the horror. Shrapnel is flying and cracking, she says. Some woman, God bless her, covered me with her body. Her mother leaning in with a hug, saying, don't cry, my little one. Everything is over. But the relentless attacks continue in the eastern frontline town of Lyshensk. Residents crouching, hiding, running from the bombs. And on the outskirts of Kyiv, Andrei Sovanyuk, a car mechanic, says the war reached his front door. Is this your home at the Tvoi Dom? Yes, it's my home. And what happened here? What happened here? He told us Russians came here with a tank and destroyed his family's home during a firefight. They ran to a neighbor's basement for safety. And tonight, these powerful images from the suburbs of Kyiv, where Ukraine says 900 bodies have been found, many shot, families burying their loved ones in makeshift cemeteries, innocent lives lost in Putin's war. Truly haunting images. Marcus Moore with us now from Kyiv again tonight. Marcus, I want to go back to the battle for Mariupol. Despite Russian claims, President Zelensky insisting the fight isn't over. That's right, Witt. And he said that a humanitarian crisis is unfolding there, but the Ukrainian forces are still defending that city. He also renewed his call for a ceasefire, but said he's not confident at attempts at negotiating on Mariupol. Marcus, thank you. And we have new reporting on that latest round of U.S. military aid heading to Ukraine. So let's bring in our White House correspondent, Mary Alice Parks. And Mary Alice, the Pentagon says that aid should begin arriving in Ukraine as soon as today. And it will take a few weeks for all of that military hardware to make it to Ukraine, but some of it was set to arrive today. This latest package includes those howitzer cannons, javelin missiles, drones, and even 11 more helicopters. And with the U.S. will also send protective gear in case of chemical or a biological attack. That is something the White House is still really worried about. And, the, and Russia this week warned the U.S. and other countries to stop arming Ukraine. But a White House official told me that that letter with that warning arrived on Tuesday and the next day the U.S. still announced this additional aid so no indication that the White House is changing course. With the administration staying the course Mary Alice thank you that's our coverage of the war in Ukraine for tonight. Hi everyone George Stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching.